This is Master Shaman Palai Chi, and I wanted to discuss inappropriate connotations towards my shamanic practices. In 2011, I was one of the very first pioneers for Hmong shamanism through business and social media. After I came out as a public enlightened Hmong shaman, many followed slowly in the years thereafter. This was one of the goals I wanted to promote and was happy with the outcome. Throughout my years of working with thousands of clients, there has been countless social media and real life etiquette problems towards the way I chose to conduct my practices. Everything from races to baneful comments from countless people, everyone from other races to the Hmong community and even my own relatives. There are those who practice Hmong shamanism but through an evil lens and obfuscate their practices for personal gain. This gives shamanism a bad name. How can you call out those who do good if you are unwilling to acknowledge the bad that also goes on within the shamanic community? People say shamans are, are supposed to give services free of charge and not supposed to conduct business, though there are few who are worthy to receive free of charge services in the modern era. My shamanic practice isn't only about onning or soul retrievals. I would like to reiterate that the world we live in is based off of reciprocity of time and energy. Our very existence is based on the false premises of a corrupt monetary system and the confines of a limiting indoctrination structure. So I will be speaking on this from a viewer's perspective of Hmong shamanism since I am relatively new to the actualization of the practice in these last few years. From someone who has observed many real life shamans through the years, I would like to reiterate that shamans have absolutely no reason to offer any sort of help in the first place if they do not see fit or it is not in their best interest to do so, such as the person is deemed unworthy of help especially if they have not dealt with shamans that do evil and obscure their ways. Second is the ridicule of Hmong shamanism to an extent within the Hmong community and the ever so prevalent promotion of the church and other religions as gospel, not understanding that most religions stem off of ancient esoteric and Gnostic teachings and principles. In a sense, there should be no quarrel between shamanism and religions because they should both be moving towards the same goal ultimately. Third is the preconceived notions of shamanism and its connotations that its practices are set in stone. As the evolution and change of things is the only constant in this world, so long as you choose not to stay stagnant. As well as the racist notions against Hmong shamanic practitioners and clothing that most do not understand that the Hmong were doing things like this before the creation of Christianity, America, and even China. All in all, we live in a very corrupt society and what people do is up to them. Because I don't think most people pay for others basic necessities on a daily basis. So their creativity to evolve systems that have kept people in the dark for so long is on them.